I'm Dr. Gabby Cora, and we're at the National Publicity Summit here with Daryl Noak. Daryl, thank you for coming here today, and thank you. welcome. So tell us a little bit about your story and why you're here today. Well, I had, I've had the good fortune of making a shitload of money over my lifetime. And I've been in business for pretty much all my life. And I had a couple of people that were very important to me die. And I decided that I needed to stop chasing making more money. I had plenty. And so I took three years off and I healed myself, so to speak. And I, I came to the realization that I grew up with a very poor self-esteem. But let's, let's get there a little bit later. All right. Tell me a bit more about, you know, you were working hard or all your life, you make tons of money, and then, you know, death struck. You were not expecting it. And that made you make this huge life transition. Tell us a little bit more about that. And I know it's a, it may be a very difficult Well, not actually. Share, I've, but... I've overcome that. Mm -hmm. But um, about six years ago, I designed this little coin. It's called the gratitude coin. Six years ago, before these people passed away, I came to the realization that I was always, even though I'd made a lot of money and I was continuing to make a lot of money, I was always searching for the next great plateau of how much money I would have, how much more I would accomplish, and, and I wasn't, I had a great magical life. So money was a driver. It, it was at that time. Mm -hmm. And I realized that I needed to remind myself, you've got tremendous amounts of everything you've ever wanted right now, and be grateful for it more today than just, you know, it's okay to still want more and still want to do more in life, but remember today to be grateful, because that makes you a happier person. And so I designed this coin um, so that I tell people that if you, if you carry that coin with you every day and you touch it, it will, it will drive the subconscious mindset of being grateful into your subconscious so deep that it'll make you a much happier person. So tell us a little bit about how you're feeling these days. Well, I decided that I grew up with a very poor self-image. I went through a lot of work to overcome that poor self-image. And so I, I thought to myself, the whole world is filled with people that don't have as good a self-image as they could have. And so I'm on a mission. I, I've got plenty of money and I want to spend the rest of my life helping people have a better self-esteem, having more self-confidence, and go out and accomplish more in life. So Daryl, tell me two or three ways in which you would help people do this. What do you do to help people out? Well, the number one thing that people need to do, and, and it's, been a, it's been an unfortunate situation forever, is most people never decide what it is that they are passionate about and make the decision to go after that. So number one, they have to make a decision. Number two, after they make that decision, they need to educate themselves like there's no tomorrow about that subject and become an expert in that subject, which we all can do. If we read and study, we can become an expert and then we can go out and, and the more we learn, the more passionate we become about what we're learning and that subject of what, that, what our passion is and we, we go out and we're much more successful and we feel good about ourselves, and the more we feel good about ourselves, the more we pass that on to the rest of the world. Wonderful. So first of all, you have to decide, and the second one is just learn as much as you can so that you can continue to help in, in the area that you're so passionate about. Is there anything else that you'd like to leave our, our, our audience with? I, I have, you know, I've been told that this is not necessarily something that people maybe feel that it's too simple of a, of a uh, thing to practice, but I believe that it's extremely important is learn to stand up straight, smile, the biggest smile you can smile, and have that smile come from your heart 
through your face. The more you smile, it, it gets endorphins coming into your body, and the, and the better you feel, and the happier you are. And the happier that you can make the other person Absolutely. feel as well, right? Daryl, how can people find you? Well, uh, my website is truewealthuniversity.com. Lovely. I thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you. Thank you.